Around 500 people from France have applied to come to Singapore now that quarantine-free travel is on the way. A French transport minister, Jean-Baptiste Jibari, is visiting Singapore for the first time and he joins us now live. Well, Mr. Jibari, it is early days for both countries reopening plans, but uh, how promising are they and how significant would they be for tourism and business on both sides? Well, good evening. Uh, first, I'm very pleased to be uh, in Singapore for, for this two-day visit at, at, the, at the time where the announcement were, was made for the VTL. And uh, as you said, it's very promising. The figures that we have this morning uh, is very encouraging. And uh, we are expecting air travel to pick up. That happened in Europe uh, a couple of uh, months ago now. And we are expecting uh, more and, and, and broader opening uh, in, in the coming months. At least that's... Uh, the reason why I'm here and why we discussed uh, over a very, I would say, fruitful dialogue with my, my counterpart uh, this morning. Yeah, so while you're here today, you've met uh, aircraft and airline companies to talk to them about uh, resuming safe travel. Uh, what are some of their concerns? Well, first, we, we need, uh, as I was saying, we need to resume international air traffic. In uh, Europe in summer, we got back to about 70% of the 2019 figure. Uh, as you know, the uh, North America will reopen in November, and uh, the vaccination programs are going well all around the, the globe now. So we want to ensure safe reopening. Uh, we still need to fine-tune uh, a, few, a few items, mutual recognition, and also to um, adjust for the rate of, uh, of the roading of, this, of the mechanism. And at the same time, with the uh, aviation community in the morning, we also talked about the big challenge for the sector, which is a decarbonization, so the creation of a generation of uh, low-carbon or, or zero-emission aircraft. So that's uh, very promising. That's a uh, long-term action, and I'm sure that can benefit from uh, the dialogue uh, I had this morning. Yeah, over on your side in France, uh, what other sort of uh, safety protocols will be in place? Well, in France and in Europe, the, the sanitary situation is under control. We currently have 85% uh, of the adult population fully vaccinated, and we have a, a very efficient testing and tracing system, the same as, uh, as you have here. So, uh, business community, Tourists, they can, they can come and visit France uh, with the confidence. And I invite all Singaporeans for the next holidays to, to come to France, obviously. Uh, Mr. Jabari, your trip also covers a maritime partnership uh, with agreement for both countries to focus on areas like digitalization, smart technologies and, and sustainable energy. Could you tell us more about that? <laughs> Well, Singapore is a real source of inspiration in it for the maritime sector. I mean, it's one of the biggest ports in the world and it's very modern. So we came to discuss uh, about innovation in all, uh, in all sectors. In the previous se sequence that you uh, broadcast, it was very clear uh, that we can benefit from all the simulator, from uh, green shipping, from smart shipping. And also we discussed a very important topic about the, the new fuels such as hydrogen. And in France, we are... In the, in the position to be a really a, a global leader in hydrogen. So that was one of the, of the mutual topics that was discussed this morning. Well, thanks for speaking with us, Jean-Baptiste Chipari. He is a French Minister for Transport.